Earlier this week, Platinum Games posted some artwork for Bayonetta. It shows Bayonetta 2 at the top and on the flip side, it shows Bayonetta 1 underneath. It sort of reminds me of the Switch Joy-Cons and this is what you know people have been coming to. And the image, it does look like they are trying to replicate the Switch Joy-Cons. So does this suggest that Bayonetta 1 and 2 will be ported over to the Switch? Or could this possibly mean Bayonetta 3 coming out for the Switch? Because some people have flipped the bottom half um, to match the guns together and it does look like it's shaped in a number 3. I think the more realistic thing is that Bayonetta 1 and 2 will be ported over to the Switch. Maybe we will get a port of Bayonetta 1 and 2 and then later on for the Switch we will get Bayonetta 3. Also, Platinum Games tweeted a teaser for Wonderful 101 for the Switch. Just because some of the characters from Wonderful 101 can be seen playing their game on a Switch. So, could we be seeing Platinum Games bringing over Wonderful 101? Or is this a Wonderful 102? Is this going to be a sequel to Wonderful 101? It definitely seems like Platinum are teasing the next Bayonetta and possibly the next one for 101 for the Switch, but it may just be ports for the Switch. And to be honest, y'all, you, you know, Bayonetta 1 and 2, one for 101, they are really good games, but I'd rather see sequels than ports. Just because I feel like the Switch is getting, you know, far too many ports at this moment in time, although I will be buying some like Skyrim. Um, I just, and then I just, I'm just kind of sick of the Wii U ports at the moment. We've got Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, we've got Pokemon Tournament DX, we've got Rayman Legends, we've got Lego City on the cover, uh, Minecraft. Or in Minecraft, I will pick up myself just because I want to take part in the cross-platform play, play on PC servers. Definitely, I'm excited about that. But there definitely is a lot of Wii U ports, so I don't want Platinum Games to add to that with Wonderful 101 and Bayonetta 1 and 2. Yes, Wonderful 101, I guess the game deserves a second chance, but I'd rather see a sequel and then bundle in Wonderful 101 with the sequel and then just, you know, Wonderful 101 on its own being ported over to the Switch. That's just how I see it, but maybe Platinum, you know, the low sales for those two games or those three games on the Wii U. Um, I do believe Bayonetta sold something like a million units on the Wii U. Maybe they are seeing a hype for the Switch and maybe they want to take advantage of that and put over a game or put over games that they have already made to take advantage of the hype surrounding the Switch and to try and get some extra sales for those games. But on a personal level, I don't want to see any more ports. So I really hope this is Bayonetta 3 and Wonderful 102, um, but I just got the feeling that maybe it will be just Bayonetta 1 and 2 and Wonderful 101 ports for the Switch. I hope I'm wrong. I hope this is teasing Bayonetta 3. Maybe, you no know, Bayonetta 3, you know, that will be a new game, but Wonderful 101 will be ported. I, I will be somewhat fine with that just because Platinum Games in that scenario will be bringing over a brand new game but I've just got the feeling that this may be just ports for the Switch. And yeah, I just I don't want to see any more ports. I want to see original games. I don't want to see more Wii U games get ported over to the Switch just because I've already bought most of those games on my Wii U already. I want to see brand new games for the Switch. But on the flip side, not a lot of people bought the Wii U, so not a lot of people bought the games for. Um, the Wii U, but having said that, Mario Kart 8 sold 8 million units worldwide on the Wii U, um, so that for me was enough. But compared to other um, sales in the franchise, um, you know, Mario Kart 8 didn't really sell that much compared to other Mario Kart games, so that is why they brought over Mario Kart 8 to the Switch. And maybe other developers will want to do the same, maybe they've already made those games, maybe they want to get extra sales and extra money. From those games to fund you know maybe they want to get extra money from wonderful 101 being ported to the switch maybe they'll use that money to make a wonderful 102 
and maybe they will use the money from a Bayonet 1 and 2 port for this switch to make Bayonet 3. So yeah, I guess you got you know flip sides, you got positives and negatives to ports, but let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. Do you think Platinum are teasing Bayonet 3 for the switch? Do you think Platinum are teasing Wonderful 101 for the switch? Or do you think they are um, a sequel in terms of Wonderful 101's case? Or do you think in terms of Bayonetta, it will just be ports of 1 and 2 for the Switch. Or maybe these announcements aren't Switch related at all. Maybe Platinum will be bringing over Bayonet. I'm actually saying that they can't really bring over Bayonetta 2, surely, just because Nintendo funded the development of Bayonetta 2. And without that money, that game wouldn't have been made. So maybe they are teasing Wonderful 101 for the PS4 and Xbox One. That's just for knocking about in my head so that is it for this video and i will see you next time